Welcome back to the Colorado Avalanche GM mode here on NHL 16. This is episode 9, and in this episode, it is the end of October, and we will be taking on... I believe it's the end of October. It might be the end of September. Is that the end? I think this is the end of September. No, no, no. What am I saying? It's the end of October. It is October 31st. As our 5-4-1 Avalanche are taking on the 8-2 Chicago Blackhawks, our Central Division foes. As we are currently sitting at 3rd in the Central, while the Chicago Blackhawks are in the 1st place spot of the Central. And then the 2nd place team of the Central is the Dallas Stars. So we're the top 3 teams right here. Uh, so this is a big game for us. And so far in this season, we have a couple points per game players. So... All, out of all these names but the list, keep in mind that all these guys have 10 games played. So all these guys' point point productions are based on 10 games played. So Matt Duchesne has 11 points, which equals out to 8 goals, 3 assists. Alexander Semin is a point-per-game player. Pretty good pickup this far in the season with a 7 goals, 4 assists, and 11 points. And then 4 goals with Landeskog, 5 assists, and 9 points. Mikel Bodker, 2 goals, 7 assists, 9 points. Rich Peverly, 2 goals, 6 assists, 8 points. And then Grigorenko and Rask both have 1 goal with 7 assists, which is 8 points. So with that being said, now let's hop into this game against the Chicago Blackhawks at home. And we are here in the Pepsi Center in Denver, Colorado, home of our Avalanches. They play host to our Central Division foe of the Blackhawks, who have won their last three games. And in between the pipes for us is Antti Ranta, which they have that dumb goalie glitch where they thought he has no stats, but he in does have stats as well as Corey Crawford in between the pipes for right. them. Yeah, Let's no. start things off first period here. A rush for the okay. Avalanche wearing their blue jerseys. Wrist shot by Bodker. Second attempt. I believe that was by Duchesne, also saved by Crawford. Here's another rush, but the, uh, Duchesne gets tripped. He's going to pass across, and that's going to skip over the head of Grigorenko. He's going to pick that one up across. He's again, backhand shot saved by Crawford, but it's going to be a penalty for the uh, Blackhawks. Nothing is going to go on the penalty, though, as they can't get anything going on the power play. So here come the Blackhawks and Nisimov. He's going to skate and take a wrist shot saved by Ronsa. He'll pass that one out, but he's going to pass it off his own pads and then kick it in himself as a defenseman. And Antti Ronf is going to be kicking himself after that one. He allows the first goal of the game on a pass from his own pass into the pipe. So now later on in the first, they're passing around in the Blackhawks zone. Here's Johnson, slap shot, saved by Crawford. Kicks down behind his net, picked up by, I believe that's Quincy. And back up by Weber, who's forechecking for whatever reason. Rast takes a shot, it's saved by Crawford. But they still have no goal. So here comes Bodker, skating around, going behind the net. He's going to pass back to the D. Weber over to Bodker. That was Johnson over to Bodker. Bodker over to Yondel. He's going to skate and take a shot. It goes wide. But then it's behind the net. Still picked up by Landis Scott. Cross crease attempt. Shot saved by Crawford. Here's another cross crease attempt. Shot scores. Matt Duchesne. He, that time he buries it. All those chances. Finally one goes in. Matt Duchesne on the cross crease from Mikel Bodker. Bodker's... Uh, eighth assist on the season, and Duchesne's ninth goal on the season. It's we're all tied up at one here in the late first. So now here's Johnson passing up the bleakly. He's going to use his speed to get past everyone. Gets behind the net. He's going to try a cross crease here, but it's intercepted out in front, but then poked in by, I believe that was Taravainen. Taravainen gets it in his own net as Corey Crawford gives up an own goal as well, and it's now going to be a 2-1 to one avalanche lead. Two of those goals being or one of those goals for each team being own goals. Two Avalanche, one Chicago at the end of one. And then the second period, literally the only thing that happened is this. The Blackhawks get in a breakaway. They take it top shelf, a snipe from Bickle. As the defense tried to pinch up there, but they could not get Bickle. And it's now tied up at two here at the end of two, as that is literally the only thing that happened in the period. It was just a bunch of back and forth, not really any shots, not really any chances. That was the only thing that happened in that period. So 2-2 two -two now, early on in the third, Avalanche on the power play. Semin passed on to Bodker, passes over to Duchesne, back up to Semin. Over to the other D, Johnson. He's going to skate in, pass over to Duchesne, skate to the net, cross crease attempt, one-timer attempt, but Lannis guy can't connect. Picked up by Johnson at the blue line. He's going to skate in, pass back to Bodker, who's going to get dump-trucked by a, a 
Blackhawks player, and then they're going to come down. Here's Dano. Somehow gets on a breakaway because Alexander Simmons on defense, and he's going to deke out Ranta and then bury that one as the Avalanche take a 3-2 lead. Marco Dano, the man they got in the Brandon Saad trade to CBJ. As Dano buries that one, makes it a 3-2 lead for the for the uh, Blackhawks. Now here come the Avalanche in the Blackhawks zone. D to D passes here. Slap shot from Johnson, or no, that was Holden. Holden makes the slap shot go in. Top shelf, Nick Holden. He is kind of just a depth defense, and we have playing in that third pairing with, I believe, Yannick Weber's on that line. Or no, Z Zadorov's on that line right now. So it's now a 3-3 hockey game as Zadorov gets himself an assist. So 3-3 here, later on in the third. Blackhawks passing around. Shot goes in through the five-hole. Ronza had a wide-open slot there as the defense just collapsed in front of him. So with 3.29 left, they make it 4-3. Panarin, assisted by Anisimov and Taravainen. And that's going to be the dagger. That is how the cookie crumbles in this one as the Colorado Avalanche fall to the Chicago Blackhawks as the Blackhawks improve the 9-2 on the season and the Avalanche drop to 5-5-1. Five, five However, they will still be third place in the Central while the Blackhawks just improve their division lead and I believe they're first in the West right now as well. So with that being said, that'll wrap things up here for this edition of Colorado Avalanche Hockey. I've been your host, Jerseyborn, and I'm saying... Goodbye. And is it really my fault? I get a shiver when I see you with those other guys wearing the jacket I bought. I can't help but lose my temper and I don't know why. I get jealous, but I'm too cool to admit it. When the fellas talk to my girl, I ain't with